Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today is our second video in the I-12 2020 series and we'll be covering roughly mile 20 through 41 in this video. We begin at exit 19 in Livingston Parish, Louisiana. This video was filmed on October 9th as Hurricane Delta was about to make landfall in Cameron, Louisiana just 135 miles to the southwest. Delta wasn't a strong storm but it was a big one and you can see the dark clouds overhead throughout this trip across I-12. We even felt the effects of the high winds all the way out in Biloxi the night of October 9th. We entered the town of Livingston, the seat of Livingston Parish. The town had an estimated population of 1,974 as of 2019. Livingston was started by the Lyons Lumber Company in 1916 as a logging community on 63 acres just west of the community of Doyle to support their logging industry and timber mill in Garyville, located south of Livingston on the Mississippi River. Doyle and Livingston merged in 1955 to incorporate as the town of Livingston. When Livingston was first established, there was a house on every lot, a boardwalk in front of every home, and water wells drilled on each corner so every home could have access to running water. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it to be notified of when our new videos come out. And give us a thumbs up if you enjoy our videos. Exit 29 accesses LA-441 which leads to the unincorporated community of Holden located along US Highway 190 to the north. When the railroad purchased land through the area, one of the people selling rights of way was an early settler named James Holden. Another person who contributed to the economic growth of the area was James Jim F. McCarroll, who had the town surveyed into lots. Owner of the McCarroll Lumber Company, he established a sawmill around 1909 and contracted with the railroad for a spur track to his mill south of the railroad on the east bank of the Tickfall River. Sinclair Cooper constructed the spur and the spur in the community became known as Cooper's Spur. Some residents were not happy with the name because Cooper was not a native of the area and locals asked for the name to be changed to Holden to honor James Holden. On October 17, 1916, representatives of the railroad and Holden citizens met with the Louisiana Railroad Commission to plan the Holden Depot. The Holden Post Office was established on December 8, 1909. Today, Dukes of Hazard star John Schneider, now a resident of Louisiana, has opened his John Schneider Studios in Holden at the former Camp Singing Waters Ranch.
Exit 32 provides access to Louisiana Highway 43, which leads to Albany to the north and Springfield to the south. The name Albany is derived from a Choctaw word meaning to cook over a fire. However, older residents claim that it was named for the nearby Natalbany River, but there was already a community with the Natalbany name, so it was shortened to Albany. Springfield is one of many, many towns by that name across the United States, but this one is almost certainly not the one that the Simpsons live in. At the Natalbany River, we entered Tangipahoe Parish with an estimated population of 134,758. Exit 35 leads to Louisiana Highway 1249 and is labeled Baptist Pumpkin Center, a ridiculous name. Everyone knows that pumpkins are almost exclusively Catholic. <laughs> but in reality, Pumpkin Center and Baptist are two different unincorporated communities. Pumpkin Center got its name from a vaudeville comedy that was popular in the late 1800s called Tales of Pumpkin Center. A baseball team was formed in the area and was given the name Pumpkin Center and eventually the community became known by that name. Here, Interstate 55, as well as the main line of U.S. Highway 51, cross I-12. The southern control city on I-55 is New Orleans, although the interstate terminates at I-10 around 25 miles west of New Orleans. To the north, the control city is Jackson, Mississippi, and I-55 continues beyond Jackson all the way to Chicago. From here, I-12's control city is Slidell, its eastern terminus. We enter the city of Hammond, the largest municipality in Tangipahoe Parish. Hammond is home to Southeastern Louisiana University and is the principal city of the Hammond Metropolitan Statistical Area, which includes all of Tangipahoe Parish. Hammond had an estimated population of 21,437 as of 2019. Exit 42 leads to the business route of US 51 and we'll conclude this video here. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to help support our channel, please check out our merchandise at 504roadtrips.spreadshirt.com. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, share and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 Road Trip.